How do you like your eggs in the morning? I like mine with a key. How you doing? Hello, good morning. It is really early in the morning. It is 20 past five. Now, before we start, I'd like to thank the sponsor of today's video, and they are Surfshark. More about that later. Now, I'm normally doing travel videos on aeroplanes, so I'm a little bit out of my comfort zone today because I'm not on an aeroplane. I'm not in my electric car. I am in Nottingham, and we've got to get to Le Mans in France. Now, the only way to do that is either on a plane, which I've just said we're not going to do, in a car, which we're definitely not going to do again, or take the Channel Tunnel, the Eurostar. And we're actually going to get the Eurostar and race against Jeff Byers' cars, who is in his car, he's taking a ferry over there, and then driving down to Le Mans. We are in Nottingham, we're going to take a train from Nottingham here, down to London St Pancras, then from London St Pancras we're going to get the Eurostar through the Channel Tunnel over to Paris and then when we get to Paris, well, when we get to Paris I'm going to follow Google to tell me which trains to take to get to Le Mans. Now, can we get to Le Mans quicker than Jeff in his Volvo? Well, that's the big question and we're going to find that out today. Now, if you are new to the channel, do me a favour and if you enjoy this video, just give it a thumbs up and if at the end you think, yeah, this is a great channel and you're not subscribed, then hit the subscribe button because there's lots more content coming your way. Now, without further ado, my friends, let's go. Right, here we are, Nottingham train station. Now, what's going to be interesting is I'm going to try and keep you up to date as well with costings, etc. So the first cost is uh, from Nottingham to London St Pancras. Now, that cost me £95, uh, and that's one way not return. And then from there, that will get us in, uh, should be around about half past eight, guesstimating. Uh, and then we get the Eurostar at 9.31, and that was £235. And I also had to get a taxi um, from Mansfield to Nottingham this morning. Well, that was £46, so it's all mounting up. I wonder what Jeff's actually going to spend to get down with the cost for the ferry and also his fuel. Let's get in there and uh, let's get through and get on that train. Come on, onwards. Right, so we're on time. Jeff Bice Cars has just sent me a message, uh, and here it is. Good morning, just checking in. I make it 5.37, the temperature is four degrees Celsius. I left at bang on half past five. I have started my stopwatch, and I am on my southeasterly approach to Dover. Uh, I don't know what time I'll get to Le Mans, we will see. Uh, I'm guessing your day has started well. Hopefully there hasn't been too much stress. There we go. Right, let's get on the train. I need to stop my stopwatch, actually. I should have really started it from when I left uh, my house, I guess. So I'll have, to work, I'll have to work that one out. You can work it out for me. I'll work out what time my taxi got and then what time I get to Le Mans. And then you can probably in the comment section for me. That way I don't have to start my stopwatch. Let's get on the train. Come on, onwards. Right, okay, so uh, just a bit of an update for you. 
start your stopwatch because I set off this morning from Mansfield in a taxi at 4.30 a.m. We're now going to get the train at uh, 11 minutes past six. There's already been a few cancellations. Isn't British Rail or whatever it's called now fantastic? Always late. They get you there eventually. Luckily, mine's on time. So, so far, so good. But we've only just started the journey. Ah, right, okay, we're on board, hoping my laptop up. So, before we go any further, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to the sponsor of today's video, and they are Surfshark, for making this trip to Le Mans possible. Now, Surfshark are a VPN company, which stands for Virtual Private Network, and helps keep all of your very important information safe. Now, an easy way to think about it is, Surfshark puts a middleman between you and any hackers that are trying to steal your information, which for me is vital, especially as I'm always traveling around the world using public Wi-Fi in airports, hotels, restaurants, coffee shops, and trains like today. Logging onto my bank accounts, social media, and my YouTube account to upload my videos. Now, logging onto a public Wi-Fi leaves you wide open to hackers and people who are on the same network. And if they wanted to steal your information, believe me, they very easily could. However, with Surfshark, I am protected as it encrypts my data and adds an extra layer of protection to help keep all of my passwords and personal information safe. Oh, and it also allows unlimited devices on one account, which for me is ideal, as I can use it on my mobile phone, tablet and laptop. But by far the coolest thing for me about Surfshark is the fact that while I'm away from home overseas, I can still access my favourite shows on streaming services such as Netflix and Amazon Prime, which are normally blocked in other countries. Now, it does this by swapping the real location of your device with a new one aka changing your IP address. This way, you can virtually travel to any country around the world. This also comes in handy for me when I'm back home in the UK, as there's a couple of shows on Netflix and Amazon Prime that I like to watch that are only available in the USA. So I open up Surfshark, change my location to the USA and voila. Now the good news is you can get yourself an exclusive Surfshark deal. Enter the promo code MacMaster for an additional four months for free. Just click the link in the description down below or scan that QR code that's on screen now. And Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. So there's no risk to try it out. Don't forget, click the link in the description down below. Right, onwards to Le Mans, my friends. Right, here we are, London St Pancras, 7.54. So we've got about an hour and a half, which is good because I haven't had a coffee this morning. There was no trolley service. So I've had nothing to eat, nothing to drink, uh, and I've been sat here. So uh, eat, drink, toilet break, and then Eurostar onwards. Right, I've got to say, Nottingham to London, very quick journey, really. Pretty much less than two hours. Um, and it's uh, you're straight to St Pancras. Now we get the uh, Eurostar from here in St Pancras. Uh, Jeff is going to make his way to a supermarket and he's going to get some booze and some drink and he's going to spend a lot less than me uh, on his car so he said more money for tents and booze which is always a good thing. Ah, 
not working. Modern technology. We'll use the guy over there. Brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Now, I wonder if that guy, I, I follow a guy from here who's on a piano. Is it somebody, Bren, Brendan Kavanagh or something? I wonder whether he's here. Probably a bit too early for him, actually. Right, well, the Eurostar's over there to my left. As I say, we've got about an hour and a half, so I'm going to nip to the uh, little boys' room, get myself a coffee. Uh, oh, there's a Greg's there, although I don't like their coffee, but I might have a sausage uh, sausage cob from there. I like to stand and watch people. It's like watching ants, isn't it? Like all the, They look like, with the perspective, everybody in a rush. Where's everybody going? Where's everybody off to? It's good to see these people moving around quickly. Onwards. We're okay. I've spotted a Costa coffee. I just can't. I can't handle a Greg's coffee. I do like their uh, pastries and stuff, and their sausage cobs, but their coffee is terrible. gonna say Brendan's probably a little bit better but I can't complain because I can't play the piano at all I can play EastEnders that's about it I don't know why I can do that anyway actually I shouldn't have admitted that should I Right now, I haven't had a coffee yet, and I haven't had anything to eat because uh, everywhere is really, really busy. And you uh, get basically you've got to get on the train half an hour before, otherwise they close the gates and you can't get on. And I thought it was upstairs, but the guy said it's downstairs. So I'm going to try and find out where the train is, get on the train, and then probably have something on board. I know it'll be a little bit more expensive, but I can relax. It's a non-stop service. Now. This is the easy part. We've done the uh, train from Nottingham to St Pancras. Then we're going to get on the Eurostar to Paris. The difficult part is going to be from there getting over to Le Mans because then I've got to get a different train, which I'm not sure about, and ask people uh, who are French and hope that they speak English. Um, so anyway, we'll, get, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it onwards. Right, we're just waiting for this group to go through. Uh, I tell you what, I am glad that I didn't book the original uh, ticket that I was going to book because I was going to get a train down and it only left me about 35 minutes to get to Eurostar after I got off of the train from Nottingham. That would have been a close call because the gates closed half an hour before. Whereas I booked it separately myself uh, and I got an hour to spare. So I got a little uh, wander around and uh, did a little bit of filming for you. Right, let's get on board. Right, uh, got through security and then passport control. Uh, there were two Czechs, there was a British one and then there was the French. So the French, she was lovely, very smiley as well. Um, unlike a lot of other border control uh, people, she was very, very smiley. And uh, thank you. Uh, and I, I said, merci, 
and au revoir. She was very, really nice. Anyway, you didn't have to take your laptop out uh, or anything out of your bags. You just put your bags through the uh, x-ray. There is a pantry here, but it looks, everything everywhere looks busy. I think it's going to be a busy train. Duty free. Do you know what? I should buy some Jameson for the, uh, for the, for the stay in the tent with Jeff. I'm going to look how much it is. That's not bad actually. For a litre, two for 44 pounds, 26. Right, platform eight, we are go. We are go. We're on track, as Jeff just said, without realising. See what you did there, track? Never mind. I've got to say, after going on the ferry uh, to France the other day, it's a lot more relaxing. This is just madness. So I was right, I saw the train as the Eurostar earlier on, upstairs, but you gotta go downstairs, go through security, then go through passport control, then it takes you upstairs over them barriers there to, uh, to Eurostar. So that's what you have to do, downstairs to go up to do all the rigmarole with the passport stuff. Here we are, Eurostar. Right, coach 10, seat number 62. I don't think we've got a window seat, unfortunately, but you're not gonna see much in the tunnel, but you might have seen something out the window. I'll try and, I'll try and get something. You know me, sneaky little devil. Right, coach 10, 62, where's coach 10? Coach nine, and I think the next one will be 10. Could be eight if I've gone the wrong way. Here we go, 10, 10, is that right? 10. I think it is anyway. It's a long time since I've done French. Right, we're on board. We sat down, and then as soon as we get moving, I want to get in that. Uh, cafe carriage and get myself a coffee and something to eat. I still haven't had anything since about four o'clock this morning. Nothing. Not a coffee, not a bite to eat. I, I'm, uh, I know I'm going to pay over the others, but I'm not bothered. I need coffee. Right, we are off. I've also downloaded the Speedo app as well, so hopefully we'll be able to see what uh, speed we're actually doing. I'm going to find out now where uh, Jeff is. I don't even think he's on the ferry yet. So straight away, uh, coming out of St Pancras, we are actually uh, in a tunnel. I don't know whether it's the main tunnel yet or not. Uh, I'm guessing it is, it's been a while. Ears are popping as well. Oh no, we're out of it now. So it can't be the main tunnel yet, there we go. Right, time for the tweet, I think. Oh, too soon. Literally about 10 seconds later, back in the tunnel again. Managed to uh, just pop into the middle of the carriages and uh, have a look out the window for you. Obviously, we're still in the UK and uh, it's green, it's a nice day. Heading to France, to Paris. Sounds better when you pronounce it like that, doesn't it? Paris. Paris. Right, I've got my latte, I've got my ham and cheese uh, baguette. Must be a good baguette if it's French. Uh, and uh, there we go. So we're eight pounds seventy in all. That was a meal deal. I'm going to eat this for the menu over there as well. I'll let you have a look at, and uh, you can see the prices of things. Actually, it's probably 
not the best. I don't know if I should have had it warm. It's, it's warmed up, it's hot. There you go. Cheese and ham baguette. It's steam coming off of it. See you in a minute. Right, I'm guessing we've uh, gone on the tour now because uh, we've got down to the bottom of the UK. My ears have started to pop and uh, I think we're going to be in here for about half an hour now. I think that's what it takes roughly anyway, so somebody told me, but we'll find out. Uh, it's now 10.06. Um, apparently it's two hours to get to Paris, so uh, we're well ahead of Jeff at the moment. My ears have gone really funny. The coffee's good, by the way, and the baguette, well, it filled a spot. Right, so it is uh, 10.24, well actually it's 11.24 now because we're in France so that took less than half an hour uh, to get through really so uh, there we go, really really quick um, still rather take an aeroplane I think anyway, I'm going to do a bit more work and then we'll have a look out the window when we get a little further uh, into France but very quick, very quick indeed Right, okay, so I've just messaged Jeff by his cars. Now remember, we're an hour ahead here in France. Uh, Jeff's uh, waiting to board. He actually set sail at 11.05. In the UK now, uh, it is uh, 10.32. It's 11.32 here in France. We're already in France and he is he's still waiting to board the ferry. So we're ahead at the moment. It looks like I, what, this might be one race, but I might get there first. Right, okay, so Jeff has just messaged me. Uh, he's now set sail. He's paid £12 uh, for an upgrade to go in the uh, Premier Lounge or whatever. So uh, he's now got free food and drink. Uh, so jammy get, 12 quid. I'd say that's worth it. Uh, well, it is worth it because I think we paid 40 odd quid for two breakfasts last time. Um, so at the moment, I'm ahead of him. I need to find out now what my next stage of the trip is because once I get to Paris and then has to get to Le Mans and this is the bit where I just don't know what I'm doing now I, I'm just it's, I'm just going rogue basically I might try and ask this gentleman here behind the counter because he's been giving people advice where to go hopefully he can tell me what line to get on uh, to get to Le Mans Okay, so we'll do a bit of a Noel Phillips toilet review. Here we go, here's the loo. You've got your toilet there, and also the sink here, which is automated. There we go, a little bit of water coming out the faucet there, or whatever it is. Got your soap there, and your dryer here as well. Come on, there we go. Take some, t come on, keep going, there we go. A little bit messy, but there we go. Tip him out there to Noel Phillips, onwards. Welcome to Paris. Wonder how far the Eiffel Tower is. It'd be cool, wouldn't it, if I got to see that before I went on to uh, Le Mans and got still got there before Jeff. I've got to say, it is more chaotic than going on a ferry, however, it is pretty cool, isn't it? You get on in London and you get off in Paris and you've not gone on the water, you've not gone in the air, you've gone under the water. Pretty cool, just a bit chaotic.
Right, okay, so I've got some information now. So what we need to do is we need to take the Metro or whatever it is, line four, uh, and, but I want to get to the Eiffel Tower. Now I can get an Uber for 20 odd euros. And I'm, th I'm thinking I might just do it and see whether I can still beat him. He's got to drive all the way down and it'd be daft not for me to see the Eiffel Tower and to show you guys the Eiffel Tower as well. <laughs> I think I've got to do it and then hop back in an Uber and come back here. See whether I can still do it. Should we do it? Should we do it? Do it. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Right, I've got to look for the taxi now or the Uber. Uh, 85NK. Jeez, they just, no, good grief, they're mental here and I drove through this. It's the port there in Paris, it's the port there. Oh, it's no. crazy here. It's crazy here. It's crazy, isn't it? No, no, nobody respect. It's Paris. Paris. It's food. Paris. I, I drove through here last week. Ah, Paris, crazy. 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 <laughs> not in, not, not uh, town for uh, It's not! Oh. Just for uh, pickpocket. <laughs> right, let's find this Uber. I'm not sure this was a great idea. I can't find him and I don't think he's going to be able to go anywhere either. The traffic is insane. FV85NK, where is it? Where, where are you? Lee, thank you. Oh, it's mad. It's crazy. This is absolutely awesome. I've actually got the coolest Uber driver in the world that I've ever had. And I've taken a lot of Ubers, by the way. I've taken them in New York, London, everywhere. This guy is the coolest, I've got to say. He's given me a, uh, like a tour of Paris. And he's got his own Instagram channel as well. So what I want you to do is head over and follow him on Instagram. When we pulled over, we're going to introduce him. Uh, and I'm going to put the link to his Instagram in the description down below. You need to go over and you need to follow this guy's Instagram page. We've got to get him thousands of extra followers because he's made this video. <laughs>
Right. Hello. Hey, there we go. Do you know what? You're the coolest Uber driver I have ever met. And you've got an amazing accent. Why have the Parisians got a better accent than the English? Uh, because I like to uh, meet people. I, uh, I drive a lot of people coming from the United States, uh, British, uh, Airlines, Australian. So I uh, speak a lot of English every day. So You're very passionate about Paris. Yes, I am is very it, passionate. Is it Paris or Paris? In French, it's Paris. 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 It sounds better, doesn't it? Paris. Paris. Yeah. La, de, la Ville Lumière. Uh, at night, uh, it's a city of light. City of light. Right. Is la it de l'amour. Nicer at night on an evening. At night, it's, uh, it's la nuit. La nuit. It's uh, night. No, what, what do you say now? What is night in French? La nuit. La nuit. La nuit. It's, the language sounds so much yes. better, doesn't it? <laughs> like, yeah. I said this the other week. Yeah. Now, you have an Instagram page. Yes, I am a big um, fan of Paris and like to clarify. Uh, so, my Instagram is Paris Loving. Paris Loving. Paris. Yes, Paris to child, to child. Loving. You have a picture of, um, of Jory Pal. Yeah. And we have I made a lot of video about Paris and the uh, Parisian lifestyle. You've got quite a few followers on there already, I have to say. I wish you, I wish you. But we need more. We need more. We need, we need a million. Yes. Uh, we, need a, we need a million. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put his link because he's been so good. You wouldn't have got to see the uh, what was it the we saw the was it the Arc de Triomphe. Uh, I actually said I said. I always see you. This is my. There we go. Let's have a look. Let me let me let me just check that. There we go. There we go. Uh, let me zoom in on that one second. And you can. There it is. Paris underscore loving. I'm back. There you go. So what we need to do is you need to get more followers. So head over there. I'll put the link in the description down yes. below. What should and people? And what should people do when they uh, to... follow me and send me a message if you want uh, to drive you uh, around Paris, around the best uh, spots in Paris. They can send I, you a message. Yeah, send me a message and uh, I can take you in a uh, gas station, Gardiner, and we will take you because I have uh, my uh, my Uber. Yeah. So uh, I can take you. Okay. I, yeah. And you can give him a tour around Paris. Okay. Of course, of course. Do you know what the guy, I the guys? Absolutely I think you're a amazing. private driver. It's for a pleasure for me. With a Parisian accent as well. Yes, of course you can with English and uh, French accents. Your well, English I, is excellent, and you've got the Olympics coming up soon. Yes, and I have two tickets for me. I was being um, to the box because yeah. I, I like to practice box and uh, athletics. Uh, athletics in Stade de France, yes. I would be here, here because uh, I am excited to wait there. You have been absolutely fantastic. You know what? When, have you ever been to England? Uh, never. I love Sundays. You need to go to Blackpool and see the Blackpool Tower. Blackpool. Okay. It's like that, but a little bit smaller. Okay, I know. I tried it. Uh, I tried. I, I, I'm open mind. I, uh, if someone can give you a, a private tour, I'm open mind. There we go. Make sure you head over, follow this guy on Instagram, and uh, we're going to take a look around now. I'm just going to go and get my, my case out of your boot. Then we've got to get to Le Mans, which I've got to get in the metro now, haven't I? To somewhere to, to get to Le Mans. I'll figure it out. I've done it on Google Maps. I'm, I'm there. And we're still going to beat Jeff. Anyway, onwards, my friends. We've now got Jeff Bice Cars on the phone, and uh, we're going we we get They're speaking French. It's beyond me. Salut, Jeff. Comment ça va? Ça va? Super. Bah, je suis avec lui. Je suis avec, je suis avec lui. Bah, on est à la Tour Eiffel et on est en train de prendre des vidéos. On est en train de profiter de notre temps. En plus, il fait super beau, donc là, on est très bien. Comment vas-tu? I totally, I agree. I totally agree with that. Oui. Super. <laughs> Jeff just said we. Oui. <laughs> right, we need to get the metro. See you in a minute. Okay, I'm cheating a little bit because uh, <laughs> I'm just cheating. I've got back in the car rather than walking. You've seen the Eiffel Tower now. We've done that bit. We've done the Arc de Triomphe. We need to go and beat Jeff now.
Okay, so we are actually going to get ahead of time here because I thought Ilias was going to take me to the uh, metro to go to the train station. He's actually going to take me to the train station. He says, let me just take you to the train station. It'll be a lot easier and that way you'll have more of a chance of beating Jeff buys cars. So uh, I want to give Jeff a ring actually and tell him. Right, okay, so we're now at the train station, which is there. Which train station is this called? This is Carmon Panas. Carmon Panas. Panas. And this is where I take the train now, directly to Le Mans. Le Mans. Le Mans. Exactly. And behind us, we've got the tallest, grand, grand building. Yes, yeah, so uh, in, in, uh, in La, Paris. Not La Tour Montparnasse. Tour Mon... La Tour Montparnasse. Montparnasse Tour. Montpanas Tour. Yes, like okay. to Montpanas. And you can go to the top of that building, yes. have a coffee, 20 euros, 20 euros and yeah. you get the best view of the city. Yes. You have saved me a lot of time. I'm going to win the race now and win Jeff Bice cars. And this guy is so cool. Do not forget, head over as a massive thanks and follow him on Instagram. The link will be down below, okay? And I'll put it on the screen here as well. Uh, so head over and follow him on Instagram. Let's get him to a million followers on Instagram. There we go. And you can see what he's doing in Paris. I, mean, I think I'm on there as well. So can you, can you say onwards, my friends, in Paris? French, onwards, my friends. Toujours, mes amis. Toujours, mon. Always, it's toujours. Toujours. Oui. Is that onwards? Uh, onwards. Always. Um, en route, mes amis. En route. En route. Always. En, en route. En route. En route. Onward. Mes amis. Mes amis. Mes amis. Mes amis is my friends. My friends, yes. So I'm learning French now. There we go. Come on, onward. Au revoir. Yes, <laughs> but me too. Uh, my English is. Uh, I try to be uh, to be good, uh, but. Uh, oh, let's put it this way. I, I learn every day. Uh, I try it. Your English is much better than my French. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. What what he said? I can't remember. My, 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 onwards, my 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 my. What was it again? <laughs> what was my friends? Uh, on, on route, les amis. Allez, il va aller, mon ami. Il va aller prendre le train. Et bah, bon, bonne route, mon ami. Et je t'espère que je te verrai bientôt. I, I, I agree. <laughs> See you, go uh, with. <laughs> Right, I, I'm trying to look for an actual place or somebody that, ah, ticket office there, that'll, that's probably better. Uh, okay, so, <laughs> that wasn't the ticket office, that was McDonald's. Uh, got a lot of uh, nice food here. Wow, look at these places. Do you know what, I miss people. I've got ticket machines, but I don't understand it. Luckily, I've got time. The train's not for an hour. I've just looked on uh, Google Maps. There's lots of automated ticket machines, but not a ticket office. Can't see one anyway. Let's have a look. Maybe I've, I just need to find somebody and find out what I need. Right, okay, so a uh, very helpful lady in there. I found a ticket office. Now, I had two options. I could take the train, that was quicker by 50 minutes, but it was another 100 euros, or I could take the train that was 50 minutes slower for 40 odd euros, 36 euros, and it was gonna be 140 odd euros, I think, to go on the faster one, to get there 50 minutes quicker. And Jeff took a wrong turn in, and I don't wanna be paying that much more money because just to get there 50 minutes quicker. So I've been a bit of a cheapskate, and it might, cost, it might have cost me the race, but, it might not, because he's took the wrong turning. Um, and I'm sure you'll agree, it's not worth another 100 odd euros. It's cost me a fortune already, and some of it is about cost. So fingers crossed. Yeah. Right, we're after track 10. We're just waiting now uh, for the track number. Right, we are track number 
23. I hope they've got a cafe on board or something. Uh, I'm a bit peckish. <laughs> On board. I'm near the doors, but I'm out of the way because it's a fairly busy train. I am getting tired now. I think Jeff got the better deal, better part of the deal going in his car and going on the ferry. Anyway, onwards. had to uh, stop for a little while because uh, the uh, police or guard here or whatever they are went running that way after this guy uh, shot over the track and he's gone running up that way now they're looking for him I don't know what he's done so uh, it's all kicking off uh, on the way to Le Mans Okay, so we're here. I'm in Le Mans and Jeff isn't. He's still on the way. He's got another couple of hours. I reckon. I think I might need a beer. I might go and find a bar or something. Let's get out of here. I'll have, have a little I'll have a little French beer. Should have wine really, shouldn't I? Anyway, let's go and, let's go and explore a little bit. <laughs> Go and find a bar. Trans. It's like being in Nottingham or Manchester. Um, go and find a bar, have a little snack out, have a beer, and then send a photograph to uh, to Jeff by his car, shall we? I tell you what, what I've learned on this trip is it's a bit chaotic, uh, the, uh, the Eurostar, but I've also learned if you want to win a race, if you've got an electric car, Leave it on the driveway at home and take the train. Let's give Jeff a ring, shall we? Just rub it in. Jeff buys cars. I'm at, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at, well, I'm outside a place, uh, I'm outside uh, some Le Mans tribute and also uh, a place called the Porsche Circle, which is apt. Because um, if you want to win a race to Le Mans, don't do, don't do it in a Porsche. So if it's an electric car, leave it on the drive, take the train. So we've done uh, an automotive pilgrimage to like a mecca of cars. And you did it on a train? I did it quicker on a train and I went round, uh, saw the uh, Arc de Triomphe, I saw the Moulin Rouge, uh, I saw the yeah. Eiffel Tower, I saw the tallest building in uh, Paris and I got the coolest Uber driver in the world. So you've done it, mate. You've arrived early, you've had a good time and I'm still on the road. Yeah, well, do you know what? I actually thought of you because I got to the train station. I got off the Eurostar, which was an absolute nightmare. That's another story. And then I thought, do I go straight to Le Mans or do I go and have a look at the Eiffel Tower and all the sights? And I thought, what would Jeff do? Jeff would have time on his hands and he would go and do a bit of sightseeing. So I did and I took the slowest train to Le Mans and I'm still here before you. What would Jeff do? We're going to put that on a T-shirt. What would... Um, what would so, yeah, 
Ah, oh, but I st technically I won by more than half an hour because I spent a couple of hours in Paris. <laughs> I don't know, is he Eurostar Electric? I don't know. <laughs> um, but now you see, I'm stuck now, so I, I need to send you my location. You'll have to come and get me. Yeah, all right. Well, I'll, uh, I'll see you in about an hour. Well, I'm going to go and find a bar. Have a pint. I'll send you my location, uh, and uh, you can uh, pick me up if that's all right. I'll do the latter part of the journey to the track in your in a Volvo. Yeah, we'll do that. You enjoy that winning feeling. How many beers you get done before I get there? This is what you. This is what you feel like on every journey. Yeah, you know what? I've been thinking this driving along with this like sort of sense of despair and like a mild depression about the fact. And I tell you what, Paris, the Moulin Rouge, the Eiffel Tower, the uh, Arc de Triomphe, it was all beautiful, it was a gorgeous day, uh, so there we go, amazing. Yeah, I'm going to go and get a pint. Uh, the ex-wife's ringing me for some reason. I don't know why. I, 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 I don't think I owe her anything. Uh, but So uh, anyway, on that bombshell, I'm going to go and get a pint. And I'll catch you in a bit. Right, enjoy your pint. See you later. See you later. Right, let's go and explore. I need a bar that's got Wi-Fi. How sad is that? I've got a load of video. Um, there's one here, bar restaurant. Not feeling it, not feeling it. Let's have a look around. I'm thinking maybe I'll stay close to the station and then that way Jeff uh, can find me when he pops it in his sat nav. He's not good with the sat nav. He's not good with a sat nav. He admits it. Right, I can see a bar down here, bar hotel, and there's people outside it. So uh, that looks, I think that looks favourite so far. Right, the winning pint. This is not Heineken, by the way. It's some. Blonde beer or something, I don't know what it is. Uh, this looks like a smaller pint, it must be smaller in uh, France. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna, gonna savour this, enjoy it. I think it's about six percent. Oh, yeah, cheers. Come on, Jeff. Where have you been? Don't, don't worry. What took your time? I know, I know. This ca cars, the old fashioned way of getting around, it doesn't work, does it? I'm two beers down. Two beers in? Two beers in. I'm so jealous of your beers. Two beers in. Do you know what this has said, right? I'll tell you what. Go on. I'm going to say this on your. I'll see you in a minute. Right. Let's oh, hang on. Was that filming? It was filming. Oh, let me do that again. I can do that better. Hang on. Okay, so we do it with more, more like that. Do you know what? Yeah. It. I won. E easily. But yeah. not really. No. Because I know exactly how you feel. I'm just Hang saying. on then. How did you win in your electric car? Well, I won on price. You won on price? No, but you won on price well, the this time. Hang on though, because the big elephant in the room is here, isn't it? Well, it, look, it's missing. This, it's there something is... missing from this parking space. <laughs> Right. I, do you know, does it not look like a Porsche Taycan no. to you? I appreciate the invisible wrap that you've amazing, done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing invisible wrap. Uh, your car's not here. No, it's not. But I've learned this thing, right? I've yeah. learned two things today, right? No, I've learned two things. Yeah, well, no, three things, actually. Every day's a no, school day. No, number one, yeah. right? Um, winning is not really winning because I've had two pints and I've been waiting for you yeah. for the first 
10 minutes, it's great. And you think, where's my mate? I just want my mate here to have a drink because I'm <laughs> sat here on my own and there's strange women coming over to talk to yeah. me. Uh, she wasn't strange, by the way, if you're looking, if you're watching. Um, but I'm like, so I'm like, where are you? Well, that's five hours of that, John, uh, um, Land's End. Yeah, it's I'm like, what's going on? And it was only an hour and a half. And secondly, right, if you want to win a challenge in your electric car, yeah. leave it on the drive at home and get a train. Yeah. And thirdly, the Eurostar is an absolute nightmare. So there's no star in Eurostar? There's no star in Eurostar. It's Euro, Euro one star. It's basically like cattle shoved onto a tree. It was, it was a nightmare. So I had visions of you being like in first class on a plane, relaxing, someone bringing a glass of bubbly out to you. But I, you sent me a photo and it looked just like a normal, there's nothing. There's no occasion about no, it. No, and you don't even know when you're in France. Listen, if Eurostar's watching, have a ding, ding, ding. Or something, you're in France, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, welcome to you France. are now in France. <laughs> <laughs> I shall say this only once. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I sat at the cafe actually, and some French guy went, Joe Le Taxi. I thought, <laughs> and I thought he actually did start and sing his Joe Le Taxi. Um, anyway, so and thirdly, what I've learned is if you're going to do this, I could have got a flight, not today, admittedly, yeah. it, but tomorrow. I could have got a flight from East Midlands, right? I could have got to Paris within about an hour and a half on East Midlands. I think 40 odd quid or I can't remember what it was. Really cheap one way, way cheaper. I wouldn't have had to get up at half past four in the morning or half three to get a taxi. It would have been a lot better. Just fly. Yeah. Which is interesting because a plane is cheaper than a train and a car. It makes no sense, does it? The thing that has to go in the air to be propelled by a jet engine that requires jet fuel is cheaper than any other form of transport. 200, we'll go through the whole things on your channel that we normally do at a late stage, but the prices are just, it's just insane. We did, the, we did the numbers, basically it cost you 400 quid and me 200 and a little bit. So you won on price? By some, by some margin, yeah. This is but like the Benidorm trip in reverse. It is, it is, but it's, it's a stupid one because you win on time, but you spent a fortune, but then you get disqualified for not using your car. And then I can win on money, but then I chose all the wrong routes and went to the ferry and then got lost as well. So you win, but it's a, we it's a weird win. Is the Eurostar electric? No, I believe it runs on diesel. Does it? I don't know. So win for diesel again then. And Is petrol. trick. Well, people in the comments would be correcting us now, being like, don't you know that the TGV such and such actually runs on a... <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. I think they'll oh, find. It probably is D, look, it's old, isn't it? But at the end of the day, the plane wins, which means the internal combustion engine wins again, a jet engine wins. Yeah, all right. So fuel again. So, I know then, what we need, we need jet-powered cars. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the cheapest way to get around, isn't it? <laughs> I get catalytic converters and DPF filters. We need jet engines. I've got a bigger worry than this now. Go on. A tent. I'm not good with tent. We're tenting. Uh, I'm, I'm going to have to look for a hotel. It's, it's, basically, not... it's basically a festival. That's that's what we're at. Um, we're at, we're in the premium camping spot. Well, that means we get trackside access and we get everything we need. So. I reckon about this time tomorrow, you'll have booked yourself a hotel. I, re I reckon I probably will. I'm not I good. think you've got to look at it as a bit of an adventure. Unless the weather turns, in which case I'm driving to Spain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm flying to New York, I think. We'll watch it on the telly. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, I might just go to Paris Airport. Is it Charles de Gaulle Airport, isn't it? Probably, yeah. yeah. And then get on a plane and go to New York. Anyway, there it is. Yeah. So uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. And before I finish this video off, don't forget, I'm going to do my bit now, right? I'm going to walk off of that. I'm going to go look at the river. Gonna, uh, like with action, with, with, with meaning, like that. So I can't really do a very good walk. That was like some sort of Monty Python do, thing. Do, do, do the Monty Python no, walk. I'm just going to walk off. Just walk off. Anyway, thank you again to today's sponsor, who are Surfshark. Head over and uh, get yourself four months additional free. 
click the link in the description down below or click that to uh, scan the QR code on screen now. Head over to Surfshark and thanks again. They have been fantastic and they have enabled my trip today to Le Mans. So uh, there we go. The link is in the description and uh, I shall see you guys in the next one. Who knows where I'll be? Well, I'll be in Le Mans, I guess, won't I? But I'm also going to go uh, over on a flight as well. And I'm not sure where. New York, Benidorm, Spain, Portugal. Anyway, we'll figure that one out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. I'm going to walk off now like this. Watch.